Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. The time has finally come. The long anticipated trailer for the new Fantastic Beast film, The Secrets of Dumbledore. A teaser came out a couple of days ago, but it was pretty short and still left a lot of us wanting. But fortunately, just a few short hours ago, we were given a full two and a half minute trailer that gave me chills. Let's break it down. If you listen closely enough, the past whispers to you. That's the first line we're hit with as the notes of the magical score begin to play in the background. The trailer starts with a familiar scene, Hogsmeade, a place not far from Hogwarts that we know from the Harry Potter films. We're here to see Albus Dumbledore, says Newt to the unidentified figure. That would be my brother, he replies. What that line reveals is that this figure is none other than Aberforth Dumbledore, who appears quite a bit in the Harry Potter films and of course works as owner and barman of the Hogshead Inn in Hogsmeade. I knew that Dumbledore's family were going to find their way into this film at some point, so I'm quite excited. Next we see a lonely looking Dumbledore walking alone in the snow in what appears to be New York. The next scene is quite important, as it reveals an all new Wizarding World location that we've never seen before. People are joined together and celebrating, well, most likely Grindelwald, as it was revealed in the teaser trailer that he seems to have gained some traction and gotten quite popular. In the background we see a banner that says the following, Hefa Suprema, which in Portuguese means Supreme Boss. JK Rowling hinted over and over again that we would see Brazil make an appearance in this movie, and it looks like this is the first time we're actually seeing it. The banner also appears to say Confederacao Internacional de Brujos, which of course means International Confederation of Witches. Next we see the new Grindelwald, Mas Mikkelsen, pulling what appears to be memories out of what appears to be Yusuf Kama's head. We saw this same type of spell used with Slughorn in the Half-Blood Prince. Next we see Newt using a makeshift raft to traverse a river along with his bow truckle companion, Pickett. Next we see a scene that we actually had a look at in the teaser, which shows Dumbledore saying to an unidentified figure, if we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. Still not sure if this figure is Theseus or Bamberforth Dumbledore, although I'm still leaning towards Theseus. In the previous films, Theseus and Newt had a bit of a bizarre relationship, but it looks like it heals a lot in this film. Next we're back to Newt, who appears to be searching in some kind of jungle. My bet is that this is, potentially, the Amazon rainforest, located once again in Brazil. Next we're back to New York for a second, where we see Theseus, Valley Hicks, Ilvermorny Professor, and presumably soon Jacob, walking through a brick wall. I know it's not diagonally where they're going, but it reminds me a lot of it. In the next scene we see Newt all alone walking into what appears to be some kind of temple in the mountains. I know that the film is set somewhat in Bhutan, a landlocked country in the eastern Himalayas located between China and India, so I'd be willing to bet that this is where Newt is here, as topographically it would make sense. Newt looks pretty concerned here, so I'm willing to bet that this is some kind of Grindelwald campaign rally. In the background we hear, this is the team that's going to take down the most dangerous dark wizard in over a century. A magizoologist, his indispensable assistant, a wizard descended from a very old family, a school teacher, and a muggle. As he's saying this, we're shown all of these characters, first Newt, then Bunty, then Yusuf, then Lally Hicks, then of course, Jacob. Next we see something truly bizarre on what appears to be a train. Newt saying to Jacob, Dumbledore asked that I give you something, right before pulling out a wand and handing it to him. I really don't know what this means for Jacob's character, as a wand is useless in the hands of a true muggle. Does this mean that Jacob has nascent magical ability? Only time will tell, but I'm excited for this. Next we see a Gryffindor Quidditch student flying around the grounds of Hogwarts on a broom. Following this we see Newt, Jacob, Lally and Theseus walking through the walls of Hogwarts. Then we see them in the Great Hall with Dumbledore who's casting some kind of spell that I can't quite identify. It looks like he's showing them a landscape or something. Next we see Aberforth and Albus interacting with one another, with Aberforth saying, off to save the world are we, in quite an unimpressed way. This is the first scene where we see them interacting with one another, and paints quite an interesting picture of their relationship. Next we see another Grindelwald rally, likely the same one from Brazil, Next we see Credence, sporting his new long hair, being paid a visit from a phoenix. We don't know for sure yet, but I think this phoenix is probably Forks. Next we briefly see Jacob and Queenie embracing one another in a hug, 
and following this we see something quite pivotal to the story, Dumbledore analysing what appears to be a kind of pendant. This pendant, however, is certainly no ordinary piece of jewellery, as it actually relates to the blood pact that Dumbledore has with Grindelwald, sealed by blood. With Dumbledore analysing it quite so closely, it could suggest that he's trying to figure out how to break it. Next we see Newt and Theseus interacting with a vast number of magical looking crabs, just before being attacked by what appears to be some kind of giant magical scorpion. Next we see Theseus and Nally Hicks battling with four of Grindelwald's acolytes in what appears to be China or perhaps Bhutan, and following this we see Jacob holding his wand with purpose, as seemingly Queenie and others approach him. Following this, we see Credence along with Vinda Rosier and someone else I can't quite identify approaching some kind of magical barrier in the forest. Credence begins to cut through the barrier, and the colours actually appear to quite closely resemble the moment that Voldemort used his magic to plough through the barrier around Hogwarts. Next, we see Newt running up a staircase towards someone, likely in Bhutan, and following this, we see Grindelwald pointing his wand and yelling, Our war with the Muggles. This also appears to be in Bhutan. Following this, we get a bunch of quick cuts, first Dumbledore looking shocked, then Yusuf Karma casting a spell. Following this, we see Grindelwald in some kind of a bath, looking annoyed and casting a spell at what appears to be Credence, just before apparating in front of him and choking him. I wonder what this could mean for their relationship. This scene is full of tension. Next we see Credence, full of anger, running through the streets, destroying buildings and causing all sorts of havoc, running directly at Albus Dumbledore. Following this, we see Credence actually attacking Dumbledore, just before Dumbledore apparates away. Next up, we see Dumbledore in what I previously identified to be the Room of Requirement, with Lally Hicks, Jacob, Theseus and Newt all approaching. Newt even says it in the trailer, the Room we require. Dumbledore motions his head towards some kind of rotating ancient pillar or beam, which then transports them somewhere. Next we see Newt tangled up being carried through the air by some new, unidentified magical beast in what appears to be the rainforest. Maybe Newt doesn't know how to control these Brazilian beasts as well as he thought. Next we see Pickett running with what looks to be someone's wand. Following this, we see Credence casting a really badass looking spell at Dumbledore, who doesn't appear to be worried in the slightest. This is one of the first times that we truly see Dumbledore's power on display. Back to the Great Hall, we see Lally, Theseus, Jacob, Dumbledore, Newt, and what could possibly be McGonagall in the background. In the final scene of the trailer, we see Jacob interacting with Hogwarts students, further suggesting that he is magical, at least in some way. And that's pretty much it. We also now have a confirmed release date of April 2022, which is nice considering how many pushbacks we've had on the film to date. Are you guys excited? Comment any interesting things that you saw down below. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams, forget to live.